What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 9 video. Today, I'm gonna be trying to use uh, this wishy-washy team that I built and it's a little bit basic, but it kind of does the job and I genuinely just wanted to try out one of my favorite Pokemon from Alola. But yeah, before we get into that, do me a favor, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed at any point in time, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's my comment question of the day. What is your favorite Pokemon from the Alola region? I think, Honestly, I'm going to have to say my favorite Alolan Pokemon is Minior. I really love that thing. It's a shame it's not in the new game, but I don't know. I kind of wish it was. But yeah, um, today I you might have noticed I did do a double upload, and that's because it's really no sweat off my back to re-upload a clip from the live stream as a form of just getting that out to people who didn't make it. But I do live stream every day from 5 to 7 p.m. CST. So if you guys want to tune in tonight, I'll be live and I am trying to go for a partnership. So all the support that you guys can give me is very much appreciated. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is my second attempt at recording this. And the reason I am doing a second recording isn't because I was losing, it's because I was winning too much. And that might sound cocky, but it's not literally because I was winning too much. It's because the teams I was facing, I did like a different account because I didn't want to use the Moxie Boosted account because this is a very weird team. It's, it's standard-ish, but it's kind of eh. Um, I didn't want to lower the Moxie Boosted account rating when I'm still working on getting it up, but the other account, the brand new account, I could not, I could not record on that because every team I faced was like, and no offense to Weedle, love, love you, love you Weedle. I was like facing stuff that Weedle to a Needle made, like the, uh, Magic Bounce Venom Drench stuff. I was facing like just stuff that you wouldn't see in a normal tournament. So I didn't want to upload that. Like that was just like a bad session. It was mostly just gimmicks I was facing. And it, was, it just wasn't fun to play. But, oh, I forgot to go over the team. Hopefully I don't get a match. Uh, today we're going to be using a wishy-washy team. Weakness policy, schooling, muddy water, ice beam, protect, mud shot. And you might be thinking, yeah, weakness policy, comfy, how original. But honestly, if there's any Pokemon that you should be using weakness policy next to Comfey on, it's probably going to be wishy-washy because Comfey does allow you to have plus three priority healing with triage, which is important for keeping schooling active, which lets you have these insane stats. Uh, Dynamax in this guy is going to be insane because the HP stat is the only thing really holding it back, meaning that, you know, when you double that, it's actually going to have a decent HP stat and tank hits pretty insane. Um, Muddy Water, Ice Beam, Protect, Mud Shot. Doesn't have any better ground coverage. I could have run a mixed set, but I figured I'd get more out of it just by running full special. We have a Babiri Berry, Max Defense, Triage Comfey, Giga Drain to proc the Weakness Policy, Floor Healing, Trick Room Draining Kiss, Standardish. We have my Incineroar set with Figgy Berry Intimidate, Parting Shot, Fake Out, Taunt, Flare Blitz, the set that lives everything. I forgot exactly what it lives, but it's pretty much everything. <laughs> We have the Lumberry Thunderous Defiant Fly Wild Charge Superpower Protect. This is pretty much my anti-sun measure. We have Power of Nihiligo, Meteor Beam, Sludge Bomb, Protect, Trick Room. I could switch out Trick Room for the uh, Power Gem so I'm not, you know, clicking Meteor Beam twice in a row. However, uh, I feel like Trick Room was actually really nice in a lot of situations where I had Wishy Washy in the back and I wanted to set that up before the Nihiligo went down. And we have a Focus Sash Urshifu standard set. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. Let's try to shoot for uh, 150 likes today. And yeah. Okay. Interesting team. By the way, remember I said like I'm still working on getting this account up? It's like in the 1200s because here's the thing. The Series 9 ladder doesn't take your rating from the Series 8 ladder, even though like the VGC 2021 ladder was just kind of a, it was like a whole thing. It was like its own thing. Whenever the rule set changed, you would keep your previous ladder rating. And now you don't, so I have to start over, <laughs> and I don't like that. But yeah, um, Wishy Washy does speed tie, I believe. With it does speed tie with a Moongus, so I do have a chance of actually, you know, messing with that thing. Um, I definitely don't want to lead off with Incineroar because the uh, Galarian Zapdos could cause some issues here. It might be in my best interest just to go into Hiligo, to be honest. Actually, Nihiligo Thunderous goes insane on this lead. I'm going to do that. Uh, in the back, maybe not a wishy-washy game, but it does have potential to be good. Since I am bringing the Nihiligo, I could afford to bring the wishy-washy since I have Trick Room on that thing. And I think my last Mon, um, I know I said I didn't want to bring Incineroar because the Galarian Zapdos, but I think it might end up being worth it in the end anyways, as long as I don't lead off with it like that. Yeah. Uh, and now, I feel pretty good just going for my max Airstream and a... I could Meteor Beam here, but I'm going to lose in the Hill ago. 
I think I just protect Max Airstream. Since I probably don't live a Max Quake behind Protect, but I don't think Excadrill Max is here, to be honest. And the Airstream on whatever comes in is kind of free. And obviously, I don't want to get in the Incineroar just yet, because if the Zapdos does Dynamax, it will live one hit. Uh, and giving that thing plus one isn't a very good idea. But I also don't want to bring in the Wishy Washy because that thing needs its health to function effectively. So I think Protect is my best play here. Tonight might be one of those nights where I do like an hour of, um, an hour, like on my live stream, it might be one of those nights where I do like an hour of, you know, regular in game content and then an hour of like just getting this account up. So they go for the Earthquake. They tried it. Their Choice Scarf, too. That's something to note. Uh, but now I will be outspeeding them. So they try to airstream me. And uh, now I actually feel comfortable getting in the Incineroar since he can take that hit. And I can go for the airstream onto this Zapdos. And I am going to outspeed the Zapdos, so this is fine. They go for the Max Guard. That's fine. I can go for the Fake Out here. And uh, yeah, I could actually try to double out into Nihiligo, but it's not worth it. Max Airstream the Zapdos. Fake out the Excadrill. But I am glad I uh, didn't immediately switch in the... Uh, <laughs> I didn't immediately switch in the Incineroar, because uh, Choice Scarf... Choice Scarf could, be, could have been annoying if I didn't know about it. There's a Charizard coming in. They try to Max Guard, it fails. Now they could go for a Choice Scarf Rock Slide, which is something I have to be very careful about. But if they do, I think Incineroar might actually tank it. Actually, I outspeed this Excadrill now. Because I'm at plus two. So what I'm going to do here is... They got a Rock Slide, right? They got a Rock Slide. I can double into this Excadrill and be perfectly fine. I'm going to try to Flare Blitz first. Or actually, maybe I just get in the Wishy Washy. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Parting Shot and Protect. Because they're going to Rock Slide. And Incineroar lives that because he's Incineroar. He lives everything. Get my parting shot off. It's all good. That is a Choice Scarf Excadrill like we already showed. I'm going to go for my Meteor Beam here. I'm going to go for my Super Power here. They're not knocking out my Thunders from this range. Not at minus one. Not when you're freaking Choice Scarf. And uh, nothing's really safe on that Charizard slot. Yeah, they got no switch into this. Get my Super Power. Straight up one shots that thing. I miss, dude. I have not landed this freaking meteor beam once. In that previous session that I was talking about, where I was playing against like really, really low ladder, like 1000 rank, I missed this freaking meteor beam like five times. Anyways, uh, this thing's within range of sludge bomb. Or I could even just protect and fly. And that's fine. And then I can sludge bomb it for the KO. This thing probably has Scorching Sands, but I can deal with it with Wishy Washy in the back once the Samungus is gone. Yeah. Now, I Sludge Bomb. And Sludge Bomb into Fly should do it. And then Wishy Washy comes in and then just straight up annihilates the Charizard. There's the Protect. They tried it. There's the. Oh, they Protect. Okay. All right. Um. Do I lose much from doing this? I think. I don't. I really don't. I mean, if they're just going to Scorching Sand, how do I play around this in a way where I don't just lose? I think I just do it again. I think I just do that same thing until they mess up. That's probably my best option. Stay Rage Powder. Scorching Sands. 
And, uh, yeah. So check this out. Meteor Beam the Charizard, <laughs> as they're going to protect. Guarantee you they're going to protect. They're going to Rage Powder, or they're going to double protect again. As they don't protect. Oh no, that's actually bad. Can I live, please? Oh, I live. Oh yeah, no, we're good. We're good. They're not taking this. Um, I'm going to Wild Charge for good measure. Because if they Rage Powder, I'm fine. They're not taking this. This is plus two. From a freaking Nihiligo. Doesn't matter which one of these goes down as long as it goes down. Is this the first match of the video? What's going on? This is a long game. They Rage Powder. Alright, I think this will do it. As long as I connect. Not quite, but uh, we're fine. We're fine, because it's now within Sludge Bomb range. Or even, uh, I could just do this. I live that burn damage, right? 10%? Yeah, I live that. I live that. Let me go for the uh, Sludge Bomb on the Charizard, as well as a Fake Out on the Amoongus, in case they uh, decide to Rage Powder here. There's the Protect. There's the Protect. Awesome, I live that. Let me get rid of the Amoongus, finally. And uh, I'll Parting Shot the Charizard. I don't even care. This has been an annoying endgame. I must admit, this has been a very annoying endgame. Come on, bud. Click your move. What are you going to do? Are you going to go for the double? Nope, they just give me the Amoongus. And I get that thing down, get in the Incineroar. Now I click Fake Out, now I click my Muddy Water. You're about to get washed, dude. He's about to get washed. Maybe he can, like, Solar Beam? But there's no way he doesn't have Air Slash. Yeah, I don't know why you'd even bother. Let me go for this, uh... You know, let me just Parting Shot one more time. Let me just Parting Shot one more time for the memes. I want Wishy Washy to get this Oko. There's no way you love this. It's Wishy Washy and it's quiet. Single target, you're down. This thing's gone. Please give me the satisfaction. I'd be so upset if you didn't. Yeah, there's a heat wave. Did I miss my muddy water? You're kidding. Okay, that's annoying. Parting shot. <laughs> give me the muddy water, please. I need the satisfaction. There we go. Parting shot one more time. And KO. Awesome. I'll be right back. I have to go somewhere real quick. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, uh, pretty successful first game for the Wishy Washy. Kind of a long one. <laughs> I usually try to keep these things pretty short, but you know. As we see, <sighs> Colossal. Honestly, this is what I wanted to face. This is what I was waiting for. Let me go ahead and uh, get this Trick Room off. Hmm, how do we do it? I could just protect Trick Room. But Comfey might not take it then. I think what I'm going to have to do is lead off in Sin. Comfey, get the Wishy Washy in the back. And my last Mon is probably going to have to be... Uh, I think the Hiligo is probably the best option. As they're going uh, Reuniclus Regieleki, which I'm cool with that. I think what I can do here is Taunt the Reuniclus. And Trick Room up. As they try to Focus Blast my Incineroar. Hello, sir? No, don't do that. Let me Parting Shot here. Uh, as I, I'm going to just get some damage off on this thing. Just Drain and Kiss it. So getting the Rillaboom. Not great for Wishy Washy. Not ideal. But I should be able to Intimidate it. So what I'm going to do here is actually get in the Wishy Washy. And I'll take this opportunity to Hailstorm, and I'll send in the Incineroar to Intimidate, and a Grassy Glide shouldn't do too much with Wishy Washy like this. It's their White Herb. The Grassy, yeah, that does like nothing. That's insane. And we get our policy. You're gone. You're, you're out of here. 
you're freaking out of here, dude. Uh, let me go for this geyser on the Reuniclus as I parting shot on the Blastoise. That does so much. They knuckle. I'm going to go ahead and get in the Comfe. Wait, hold on. He's about to take so much from this. Let me go for the Quake on the Reuniclus for the KO. And the Giga Drain on the Blastoise. This is going to do so much. Because he's minus one and I have Grassy Terrain up. Probably just going to Water Spout. And this will take him to a range where it doesn't do that much. We have one more turn left in Trick Room, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah. Nice. Quake for the Special Defense Boost. Hydro Pump. Ooh. He man, that man knocked me out. There's the Regio Light. Ooh, that's actually an issue. That's... I might have messed up. See, the issue is he's got to land it. <laughs> Please? He landed it. Yeah, good game. If I can somehow live this wild charge, which I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'd have a better time living a different move. That did like nothing too. Wild charge. Yeah, good game. Dang, that sucks. I thought I had it. But uh, Trick Room ended a little bit early for me. Okay, this one's not too hard. I can just lead off with Urshifu and Sucker Punch that thing. I think I always just lead off like Urshifu Thunderous. And that deals at 90% of what they want to go for. Uh, Wishy Washy in the back isn't bad. Granted, they don't have the Weezing on lead. And I think my last one has to be Nihiligo. So they just go Regigigas Weezing. Moxie boosted. Yeah. Moxie boosted. <laughs> That's like a joke my friends will say, like the, um, what's that one game? It's this stupid little game on, um, Steam where you, it's like Moonbase Alpha, I think. They'll just say my name like a Moonbase Alpha char character would. Let me close combat the Regigigas and go for a max air stream. Uh, I should be fine to do this. I could knuckle and do that. But then I risk a burn. I risk a burn by doing that. I'll just close combat max airstream. As they protect, that's fine. Get my speed boost, get some decent damage off. Is that in range? Probably not, but it's in range of Sucker Punch. Probably. A Hailstorm, knock me out. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Go for my Meteor Beam onto the Wheezing. And, uh, might as well just Airstream again. Hopefully I don't miss this. That'd be annoying. I, dude, I can't land a Meteor Beam for the life of me. Alright, that's KO. Can I get this? Nice. As they taunt me, that's fine. I wasn't going to trick room anyways. Sending the Urshifu. Interesting. Um, probably not within Sucker Punch range unless it's Choice Banded and this Weezing drops anyway. So I'll just Sludge Bomb and Max Airstream. Yeah, the Weezing drops to Hail next turn. So I'm good. Protecting it's kind of a waste. Get rid of that thing and I think we just win. I'm going to say Tapu Fini is the last one. <laughs> yeah, looking at the rest of the team, there's no way that wasn't a Tapu Fini. I don't think it likes that matchup. All right. So we're facing um, standard, like, balance team. And Wishy Washy goes crazy versus this. Wishy Washy has potential to go absolutely bonkers. So we're going we're gonna to lead off with it. I'm going to lead off with it. You could go bonkers here. Definitely want the Incineroar. I could actually lead off Incineroar and just have Wishy Washy in the back. Let's do this. I like that. I like that. That seems cool. That seems poggers. Yeah, Wishy Washy, like. 
versus Ice Horse versus Glacier. If you get that Glacier to minus one, Wishy Washy just, you know, it just deals with it pretty easily. At least from the testing I did prior to recording. GLHF. I think my main concern is like the possibility of Eerie Impulse Porygon 2. And not much past that's really scary. I can Meteor Beam for absolutely free. Matter of fact, I might just Meteor Beam the Grim Snarl. <laughs> I'm going to Meteor Beam the Grim Snarl. They're going to switch out or protect or something. Alright, is this KO? Probably not. Ooh, it comes close. All right, check this out. Check this out. Um, I can now, assuming they're going to Thunder Wave me, I'm protecting. Light screen. All right. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Definitely going to have to Dynamax this uh, Wishy Washy. So now what I'm going to do is get in my Comfey, assuming they're just going to Quake the Nihiligo, and uh, go for the Sludge Bomb and the Finny. And then next turn, Comfey should be good to Trick Room by getting in the Incineroar after they straight up annihilate my Nihiligo. <laughs> so I'm going off the assumption that Nihiligo is going down this turn. Good, solid damage right there. There's the Quake into the Comfey. I did not like that. Um, so, one of these two is going down. And this might seem like a very dumb thing to do, but because one of these two is definitely going down and the Tapu Fini is probably protecting, I'm going to Trick Room with both of them. I'm just going to do it. Alright, who are you KOing? Alright, that's good. Get in the wishy-washy. Get in here, bud. Now is your time to shine. Now is your time to shine. Let me go for this Max Geyser onto the Landorus. Um, I could Hailstorm, but I'd rather just Geyser. In case the... Uh... Yeah, it makes it easier to deal with Rotom Heat. Get the Intimidate off. Hopefully we're not facing like Nature's Madness Tapu Fini. That would legitimately be annoying. Don't... Ah, they did it. Okay, this is kind of an issue. That's kind of an issue. Yeah, that's annoying. Can I crit? Kind of need to crit. <laughs> kind of, kind of low key need to crit, like right now. Get the double. I mean, I could... I could Hailstorm. But I don't like the chip on the Wishy. Crit? Nah, okay. Muddy Water, get all the get all the drops, please. <laughs> That's Assault Vest Lando for sure. Dang, that kind of sucks. They protect. Yeah. I, I get the accuracy. It's it's possible. It's just not likely. I'm going to say GG, though. Ain't no way I'm winning that one. As they fly, I become the small wishy-washy. Hey, wishy gets one KO. Good job. Dang, that sucks. All right, we face another coal team. This is one of those matchups where, like I said, if I get rid of the Amoongus, it becomes way, way easier. And honestly, Wishy Washy can one-shot Amoongus if I win the speed tie. So I'm just going to do the thing. Hmm. I could actually lead off, like, Urshifu Kumfei here. Bring Wishy Washy in the back. 
And I think Urshu puts on enough pressure where I might be able to just win. Basically, the whole the issue here is getting up the Trick Room. The main issue is getting up the Trick Room. And I think my last mon's got to be Incineroar. So they go Comfey, or as they go Urshfu Comfey, yeah, Urshfu to Corviknight. Just Wicked Blow here, getting the Incineroar. Actually, I don't want to get taunted as my main issue. Ah, I could have done it. Set up a Reflect. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and Wicked Blow and Parting Shot the Incineroar. The Iron Defense. Yeah, good one. Getting the Comfy. Is the Parting Shot me? What's coming in? Hopefully not a Moongus. I'd love it if you just didn't bring it. There's a Colossal. Yeah, uh, I'm going to Wicked Blow in Trick Room. Like, Corviknight goes down. Colossal doesn't knock me out. This is a strange team. Protecting made no sense. <laughs> Just gonna say that. Protecting made no sense there. Here's the Incineroar. Um, so what I can do here is... Assuming... That they're just gonna try to, like, Dynamax knock me out. I'm gonna go ahead and send in my Incineroar. I don't want to get in the... Maybe I just attack and let them knock out the Urshifu. I'll try it. Alright, now I get in the Wishy-Washy for sure. And... Just drain and kiss the drag. Cool. Cool. Max guys, are you? I don't really need my freaking. <laughs> I don't really need my weakness policy, do I? We'll drain and kiss you. He needs a double protect to pull this off. And even then, I'm pretty sure I knock him out through the protect. He's thinking, he's like, dang, how do I how do I deal with wishy-washy? There's the incinerator coming in. He's probably hoping I'm physical, but I am not. You're gone. No way you're living that. Yeah, good game. Let's get one more, one more battle. Hopefully I can do something cool with the uh, wishy-washy. I mean, I did get like two decent wishy-washy games, but I'm disappointed I didn't win that one where it like absolutely would have swept. So we face um interesting little team here. Looks like wishy-washy can put in some pretty good work. Granted, I get off the Trick Room. So what I'm going to do is... You know, I could just lead off with Wishy Washy and it wouldn't be terrible looking at this whole team. I'm just going to lead off with it. <laughs> uh, and I think Nihiligo in the back isn't a bad idea. Probably going to want to go Comfy too. Alright, cool. So, I could Parting Shot the Celesteela. Because I think I might live a Meteor Beam. They're probably just going to fake out my Incineroar. Or, alternatively, assuming they don't do that, I can Quake to KO this thing. And try to fake out it. the airstream that's fine get that ko um and they did just airstream me i don't mind getting paralyzed with wishy-washy to be completely honest i'm just gonna quake again or maybe it's in my best interest just to geyser hmm And I live the next one, so I can parting shot the Celesteela. 
Ooh, yeah, there it is. That's what I didn't want to see. Get in the comfy. So, this is still fine. It's a minus... Possibly three. So... Um, can you take it? I got a Quake here. And I got to try to Trick Room. If that's Specs Primarina, it's going to be a huge issue. I live that because of the Beery. Come on, Comfy, you can take it. Because they Moonblast me, don't get minus three. Cool. Get my Trick Room off. And now, I can actually start clicking Muddy Water and Giga Drain. Get back up to neutral. And I'll start clicking floor healing. Alright, cool. Let's floor healing muddy water. I think that's my play, yeah. I clicked the right thing, right? Muddy water, floor healing. Keep this guy from going down. These are both special attackers. That's good damage. They energy ball me. Good one, dude. Good one. Let me muddy water, and I think the Giga Drain plus muddy water will do it now. On the Primarina. Yeah, that'll do it. As I miss the Celesteel, which is a bit annoying. But that still doesn't knock me out. I'm comfy, dude. I am comfy. I'm sitting comfortable. <laughs> that is not a good pun. Anyways, I think I just win. I keep missing that Celesteela. That could be annoying, but wow, we just one-shot that thing. Awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and click the Muddy Water again. And the, um, might as well, might as well Floor Healing for the Culture. Nice. So, Wishy Washy got, like, every KO that game. I think he actually got, like, every KO. So, that's a good game to, to end it off with, man. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys tonight at 5 p.m. CST for the live stream. Have a nice one. Bye.